There we go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, Sassy and Classy Empty Vessel. Uh, this is season two, episode three. Sort of. There were t there were two uh, there were two Task Force Unlikely crossovers in between episode two and three. So, um, but it's all available on our playlist. <gasps> Check it out on, on YouTube.com? Yeah, slash God of Roads. <laughs> Why well, uh, I watched it today, it's never been easier. Uh, hello. Put it on and let it play. Clean the house. Keep cleaning. Keep cleaning. You're on cocaine. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you probably, it's a cry for help. We're all inside. It's fine. <laughs> um, last time, uh, Vianti and Dancelab helped save Waterdeep. Did we? <coughs> you were there. We were there. there. You were there. We were there. <laughs> you fought a giant skeleton until it stopped being a giant skeleton, but you didn't stop it from being a giant skeleton. No, we ran away. Yeah. <laughs> we thunderstepped away. It was much cooler than that. We beautiful thunderstepped away. It's I will rebranded. You know. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so we will pick up shortly after that time uh, the next day you all have had a long rest Task Force Unlikely has gone to do more uh, adventuring things um, I, I can't remember what exactly they did right after that probably went to hell or Hades or something <laughs> something like that so, so, something that adventurers do yeah um Oh, that that reminds me. Actually, we do have a lead that I should follow up on at a certain point. Uh, Gail gave us a note to um, to uh, the Iron Ladies. No, what are they called? The Steel Gauntlet. Oh, the Order of the Gauntlet. The Order <laughs> of the Gauntlet. I got it in one. Yep. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, so uh, the next day. Uh, you uh, you put you put the bar back together. Someone paid to have Jaden restored. You assume his rich father. Um, Probably. So yeah. he's back to being just insufferable. Uh, yeah. But Rose has figured out that this one's insufferable too and dumped him. Oh. Um. I look forward to the next Aiden yeah. name. She'll she writes down Aiden. She hasn't tried just Aiden yet. It's well, um, the city's full of them, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, um, but now something about something about seeing him lose all his youthly luster kind of really shook her. Oh, sorry, got your bot. Mm. Um. Uh. But yes, it is the morning. Uh, you all uh, fix the bar that was uh, attacked uh, by ghosts. Uh, and what would you all like to do? Have the ghosts returned? Because like, they were kind of like attached to like the storage box, right? Yes. So you believe it, since the source of... The, the ghost madness is gone. They, they've they returned and would be normal again. Okay. okay. I mean, ghosts. But, you know, normal for ghosts. Right. Normal ghosts. Not An advising force. Right. Not um, attacking my boy. Trying to possess him. Or age up Rose's friends. All right, so, and we hired Druithan, or Druithan. Druithan, yep. Um, <laughs> did we did we book Lorik? Wait, he's coming back the next open mic? What he was... said he would come back the next open mic, yeah. My whole heart, by the way. Um, he wrote a song about she. Um, I guarantee you it's those brothers. It's the Avid brothers, it is. 
It, yeah, no. The song's <laughs> well, it's about him and her. It's called True Sadness. It's not a night. It's not a happy song. No, it sounds great, but I can't wait to but cry it, when I hear it. But it is about how she saved him from True Sadness. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. I'll share it later. <laughs> Somewhere there's an elvish dummy who is in charge of way too many other elves right now. Um, well, I think Dance Lab being Dance Lab is probably holding on to routine first thing. Like, her default is going to be, like, let's fix what we can fix. Let's control what we can control. Mm-hmm. I believe the last time they were upset, they did Vianti's hair. So, like, you know, like, just something that they can put their hands on and, like, control in in an earnest effort to not directly talk about the thing right away. Like, we talked about it. We had a good cry. We threatened all holy vengeance against anything that uh, would interfere. Um, yeah, and she just needs to have some mimosas and put some bar stools back together right now. But I presume something will interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have a whole bar to fix up. So, you know. yeah. 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 She's throwing herself in the work a little bit. What, what's, what's Vianti's deal? Um, I feel like he would be, kind of almost going into like overwork mode um so kind of like like almost apologetically working like all of this is my fault um kind of a you know like how people who get into that kind of like mentality will just start kind of like putting their head um to the or nose to the grindstone just like really like working hard and so he would really be trying to uh, get everything kind of like back in order, trying to restore some kind of normalcy. Okay. So we're both having real normal ones. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what happens. The empty vessels were beer kegs. <laughs> oh, wow. So outros and plugs. <laughs> Deuces. Uh. So now, so so, uh, everyone returns to work. Some you you probably lost like one dancer through the ghost incident, and it's like I'm not coming back. But it was like your worst dancer, so you don't really care. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't star talent. They really want us to come after them, right? And exactly, not happening. <laughs> yeah, no. This sounds like drama, and there's a sign yeah. backstage that says no drama or save it That's for the right. stage or something. Yeah, save it for the stage. Save sounds it for the stage. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, but no, so right so, next to the the coin you kiss, um, which sounds a lot less hygienic now in these days. What about the buffet? Well, it, that stays right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, um, well, to. To faff about a little bit, sure. uh, to add a bit of a bumper in the beginning here. Faff. Faff away. Uh, <laughs> while I'm behind the bar and I can see that Vianti's running himself a little ragged, like being busy. And I know that I'm doing that, but it's healthy when I do it. <laughs> um, but I, I will take our, our lockbox and whisper Nor. Okay. I know I'm throwing this at you, but no, this yeah. is happening now. Uh, so. <laughs> Nor didn't have a voice. Um, no. So, yeah, a, a, a tattooed and handsome uh, young adult elf uh, 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 appears in a spectral blue. The last time you saw him, he was much less pleasant. But yeah. uh, he appears and he looks sheepishly down. And he says, oh, yes. Hello, Dance Lab. I, I hope you know that that wasn't us. And we yeah, are, we're, we're and, good now? And we are sorry. We, we had a... We had a meeting. It's, it's, we're really sorry. 
it's it's probably good you didn't call Bernie first. No, I'm. I'm gonna need some time. I. She said some hurtful things, and I know I said some hurtful things, and um, though they were not, um, <laughs> I can use mind control as an excuse, but I know that's not like a, a real life excuse. And it doesn't change my actions that led me to the point of being mind controlled, including getting myself killed. So I am sorry. He, he kind of looks like he might have also <laughs> confused himself. <laughs> but he thinks he that just... was the right way to apologize. <laughs> yeah, I think he just ate some bad dinner, bud. That's not the part I'm mad about. But look, you and me, we're good. I do think you probably owe a dance over there. What, like full and look, frontal? Don't go in all hip oh. thrusting. Go nope. in apologetically. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is... <laughs> <laughs> kind of hikes up his, like, loose robe, like, puts it up on shoulders... And that doesn't feel right, so back down. No, no lose, lose the rub, bud. Lose oh. the rub. Nobody wants to see you in a shirt. God forbid, you guys. <laughs> he throws it away <laughs> and just kind of slowly disappears. Start worrying at a spot on the board. God, I can't do anything with these boys. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Within's reaching on a high shelf behind you. Who keeps putting all of my stuff on the highest shelf and just yeah? No, I was stretching. Mystery. I'm I'm much too small. <laughs> <laughs> That's dance lap. <laughs> uh, Nor floats over to Vianti, and he uh, stammers his way through an apology again. I um I. Last time I I saw you, I uh, just it was not it wasn't me, and it wasn't my best self, and I really I really want to apologize for having put you in a dangerous situation, and I hope you know that that's not who I am, and I mean that like sincerely because I know a lot of times people who constantly put others in dangerous and toxic toxic situations will proclaim that's not me when really it is them but that's not me i'll try and like put a hand on his bicep i assume that i can't because he's a ghost <laughs> now it's kind of cold and wet oh, or not wet um, damp it, it just feels chilly and uncomfortable like your hand gets all, it feels like it fell asleep. Um, kind of try and hide that I'm wiping it off on like a rag that I'm using. Um, I, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it, I've been there before. It, I understand. It's. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, how, how are you doing? Uh, it, as well as one can be, I suppose. I'm sorry, how have you been there before? Uh, I mean, I, okay, I don't know what it's like to be a ghost and be, like, mind-controlled necessarily, uh -huh. but I know what it's like to, you know, have a voice in your head that you can't help but listen to. Like in a compulsive way or a magically compulsive way? Unclear. Okay. Well, do you want to talk about it? Boo, dance. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm already you're frozen, uh, but we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm frozen in a cool way, but hold on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Much cooler. <laughs> <laughs> much. <laughs> Everyone's saying so. Um, no, perfect. No, you looked very introspective. It did not quite 
match what Dan's Lab was probably thinking. Yeah, it was kind of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not a bad look. It was not matching Dan's Lab's boo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, all right, absolutely, less thinking. Um, uh, uh, nor will uh, whip around and start doing some uh, uh, very suggestive dance. Yeah. <laughs> Liz in chat says, why talk about your emotions when you can dance them? <laughs> Liz has got it. Let's go. Uh, so he starts dancing his emotions. Um, and you can hear him very... He's used to a musical accompaniment, so he is very gently humming. <laughs> mm. And it's not, it's not bad or awkward or anything like that, but it's usually probably drowned out. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? It turns out I have eight music musical proficiencies, <laughs> which I really just wanted dancing. But uh, yeah, actually, I kind of like the way this scene is turning. So I'm I'm gonna just kind of get up on the bar and play one of these many instruments I can play. What do you like? A flute? I can play a flute. You like a lute? I can play a lute. You like string <laughs> strings or woodwinds right now, the uh, Andy. Uh, woodwinds. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a pan flute. <laughs> uh, now, and w- do the dancers usually have musical accompaniment? And if so, who is that provided by? It's very unclear, Andy. Okay. <laughs> you can. I think you can technically I, magic music. Like, I think you have spells that like press the digitation yeah. might let you do that. Like, mm-hmm. well, and actually, what, while I'm at it, I'll tap my box and call up Elena too. Okay, let's get a ghost party going. Uh, she comes out singing, just appears. By the way, if this is your first time on the stream, we have a bunch of ghosts in a box that we can just the summon. Pre- the previous tenants <laughs> of this establishment <laughs> were killed by we're their jester. Yeah, yeah, the cabaret. So yeah, they... Don't worry about it. It makes sense. This is Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> obviously. Obviously. This is the most... That's why nobody <laughs> tried to stop that one dancer that left, because it's like, we started opening night with ghosts like if you can't hang with that that's, i don't know what you're thinking that's a base level weird yeah, yeah. Um, this is our cab boo ray yeah the boulon rouge <laughs> they're all coming back you can tell this right, is, see, I'll, I'll get elena who is our singer yeah yeah so she'll start out of the ghost box she'll and, just as soon as she is summoned just she's in a full ball gown singing it's just full singing. evanescence over there <laughs> She wants someone to wake her up inside. <laughs> Won't somebody save me? Uh, so there is some 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 singing and some jaunty flute playing, or woodwind <laughs> of some kind, clarinet, a yeah. sexy saxophone, <laughs> <laughs> a sexy saxman saxgram. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you guys never what? seen that? I- I think I have. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that's like 2000s. That's memes. that's that's old internet. Yeah, those are the the ancient the memes. <laughs> the old ways. Before they were called memes. Uh, uh. <laughs> but yeah, to force the mood to lighten. Uh. Okay. Yeah. It. It gets, uh, it feels cheerier in here, for sure. Yeah, it's not going to last, but what are you going to do? <laughs> As life. <laughs> um, I'll kind of, like, put down whatever it was that I'm working on and go over to the bar and sit and enjoy the show for a little bit, but kind of, like, uh, kind of almost, like, say without saying, just, like, gesture in a way to dance lap that, like, okay, I, I, I get it. I've been a little bit of a bummer. Like. <laughs> I will find a way to gracefully dismount. I'll let Elena and, and Noor keep each other going over there. Yeah, they, they start to, duo. yeah, they start to fall back into their old routines. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll pull up some some stool next to uh, the ante. 
Well, really, I was kind of hoping that you would dance, too. I'm not trying to tell you you're a bummer. Oh, I... Trying to... I don't know what I'm trying to do. Make it normal? Mm, thank you. I... With our ghosts? <laughs> 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 it is the baseline that we start at. Yeah. I would feel more normal once this place is all put back together and we're both able to dance and ghost about again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the cleaning music on. Don't, don't you know it, Bianti? Someone put everything on the topmost shelf behind the bar again. Oh, really? Yeah, poor Druathon. You almost got it, bud. <laughs> we really should invest in, like, a stool or something, I guess. But, you know, why break a system that works, right? That's right. He's reaching. <laughs> That's right. And an open pitcher of water falls on his chest. <laughs> Who's storing open pitchers of water? When oh. I catch the bastard. <laughs> I am. It's me. It's me. I did that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. He's a snack. Anyway, so. Yeah, well, look. I go through more shirts at this establishment. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like. Aquaman and the Snyder Cut over there. Um, <laughs> I mean, shirts are optional in this uh, establishment, so... He just throws it in the pile of sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> there are several signs that say, top's optional. Top'sional. I tried to get it passed, but <laughs> people thought that was misleading. Um, yeah, well, look. I have a feeling... That hard times are going to find us, whether we want them to or not. So I figure, I figure we're both owed a little bit of normal first. But um, look, whatever you need, I will, I will do. I will burn this bar to the to the ground. That's the opposite of what I want. Well, yeah, whew, thank you for calling my bluff. Because yeah, I, I don't know that I would have done that. But like, I, <laughs> like, but, but that's like that's the kind of energy I want to bring to it. So I'm doing it. I'll do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like, yeah, like, um, do do you have an X move? Uh, be to moving towards normalcy or what? Yeah, or or whatever. Can we like um, burn some sage and <laughs> we can look into some adventurers? Uh, Gail gave us that letter of introduction. Oh, that's that's true. We can um, go to these. Order the gauntlet people and be like, hey, we've got like a creepy stalker on an astral level. Like, maybe they might be able to help. Um, before we do that, could we do some like, um, like foot baths and mimosas? Like, I, I just fall deep into your chest of just, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. Because I oh. tell you what, I've been working really hard and... <sighs> I, I, I saw you. And you did not, something today. Not used to, you know, my hands doing so much, like... This kind of labor, you know? Yeah, no. 
I kind of showily grab them and like turn them over. It's just like that, that's a that's a callus in the making if I've ever <laughs> seen one, and I have not. <laughs> so <laughs> absolute foot baths and mimosas. Druathon. Yeah. Quit messing around with those buckets. There's another one on the end, by the way. <laughs> we can get to that. Uh, there's two basins uh, in the back, and there's uh, if you just put on some, some water and fill the basins and then drag the basins over here, I'll make the mimosas. <laughs> but I'm the bar manager. Oh, you're going to make the mimosas too? You're spoiling dog. us. Oh my god, this guy. This guy. <laughs> Look at great him. hire. Great hire. Oh just <laughs> stellar. Walks away. Did was I charmed? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have advantage on this. Kind of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get some more like him in here, you know. Look, I've been saying it. Yeah. Uh, no, we 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 need staff. Uh, there is a uh, there is a like a, a knock on a wall, and someone says, "Knock knock." And uh, this elven woman just kind of floats in, and she says, "Hello." I heard your establishment was attacked during the Great Ghost Debacle, so inexpertly handled by Task Force Unlikely Adventurers uh, yesterday, and I was wondering if you would like to perhaps enlist the services of true adventurers. And she pulls out a business card for Local Heroes of Waterdeep 419. I myself am Elfarina High Magic. Did I just hear her name right? Did she just say her name was Elf Elf? Sure, Elf Arena. Hi, Magic. Uh, do you have a snappier title than Heroes Local 11498? What was 419. It? We are an officially sanctioned adventurers guild in the city of Waterdeep. I'm the uh, CMO. Chief Magic Officer? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, well, Elfina, what... The ghost problem is already come and gone, so what would you... What service are you offering us well, now? it's a protection uh, a service in the event of another catastrophe to Waterdeep, and there will be one. Myself and my associates, which include... A fighter, thief, barbarian, and cleric will come to your aid, uh, post-haste, and deal with the problem quickly, efficiently, and cleanly. And you won't have to do any of your own fighting. I know not everyone in this city is an adventurer. But we will. Uh, she kind of mumbles under her breath when an appropriate level is reached. Fireball your problems away. This is great, Alfina. Thank you very much. Is there, um, is there a sending? Is there a, like, what are we... Our address is on there. You can reach us by courier orphan. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> no, good. Um, well, thank you for this. Uh, oh, so you won't be making a decision now? I think you'll regret it's um oh there's a discount um if you sign up today right now and also if you get three of your friends to sign up and then you oh. would actually become part owners in local heroes of Waterdeep. for it pays for itself if you get only five friends to sign up okay um, uh, rescue my coin from wherever it's settled um <laughs> and just kind of lay it atop um the the shelf we'll call it um <laughs> yeah just three of our friends yes and you can 
Girl, you can be your own boss in no time. <laughs> well, man, what a great, what a great value. Um, yeah, tell us more about your adventuring group, who apparently go personally by their class. That's fun. <laughs> well, well, yes. Well, our our leader John Bladeholder is a very brave yep. fighter. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 <laughs> um, our dexterous and nimble halfling rogue Klepto Sticky Fingers is mm-hmm. just um, uh, uh, amazing at dealing efficiently with problems both trap and rat. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. What? Um, Gimlo Deep Mine is a dwarf of few words but large hammer. Really breaking the mold on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Jane Faithmore is a stoic and um, powerful cleric to Torm. Mm. Well, that's great. Uh-huh. We have got your card. Um, yeah, by the way, Task Force are likely... You guys should have taken care of these guys. Um, now they're our problem. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> They've only met um, John Bladeholder. Different yeah, one of these like, idiots is going to show up on every stream. That, that guy. <laughs> obvious pest. Um, unlike Agalor out here. Uh, <laughs> great reference. Six people got it. Um <laughs> Yeah, um, this is great. Do you have a, a rate sheet or something? Because I'm not sure what you're protecting us oh, from, yes. except for the potential next hazard. Yeah. Uh, she'll she'll pull out a, a scroll of parchment and slide it along to you, and it's got um, three columns. One lists the possible disaster, one uh-huh. lists today's rate, and one lists if you sign up at any later date. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, today's rate is, you would still say rather high. Yeah. Yeah. For these services, especially when Task Force Unlikely just did it for you for free. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, yeah. It, invasion of the city by undead, invasion of the city by rats, um, extra planar portals, uh, guardian statue run amok. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Uh, flood. I watched one of their legs just stomp its way down the street mm-hmm. uh, a couple weeks ago. That's a real problem. Yeah. Uh, she says, now acts of gods aren't covered. Uh, you have to take That's... that up with um, the various churches. Oh. There sure, is... it's probably a union issue. <laughs> yeah, <there's>, there <laughs> is a small business insurance fund you can buy into. It's just extra. That's fantastic. But that's run by well, the Church of Joaquin. Oh. Well, I will bring that up. That, this is great. I love your whole racket, dear. It's really, it's... it's <laughs> Hashtag girl It's boss. inspiring. Yeah. yeah. No thank you. Oh. Okay, well, I'll leave behind just in case you change your mind. Again. Oh. My name has been Alfarina, and maybe, maybe if you contact us at a later date, I can get you those same day rates. You know. Oh well, yeah, that would be a real boon yeah. to us. Thank you so yeah. much. Yep. And if you could put in a good word at the church, we'd probably uh, charge you the same rate, but with a smile. Got it. Got it. Would <laughs> you like to see my rate sheet for putting in good words at church? Oh no, that's quite all right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, we know how to reach you, presumably, and that's that's good. Just uh, just five steps back. Just take five steps back. Oh. She takes five steps back. We do know we need adventurers, but I really don't like the way they came in here. Like, I just, yeah. and, and I'm not paying for that. Like, well, I mean, I would pay for it if it was like good mercenary service or something this is yeah. a, this is a racket right we're saying this is a racket 
I I would say so, especially given their prices and their, you know, upside down pyramid kind of. Their upside down funnel. System. Yeah. We like yeah. to think of it as a pear. Oh. Everybody likes pears. Do like a pear. Okay. Thank you very much. We've got all your information. I was going to hold out to see if we could see like what some of the menses looks like, but you know, I, well, there's a, a blade holder. There's an entendre there. Um, this is a barbarian. Do we have a gender listed next to the barbarian? Uh, you got an address. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you if you, place. If, you can, yeah. if you flip over their sheet, they have little pictures and bios of each person. Oh. Uh, John Bladeholder is the most generic looking person you have ever seen. Uh-huh. A lot of facial symmetry, though. Yeah. There's something. Yeah, there. I, I mean, uh, Klepto Sticky Fingers is what you would call. Um, uh, it's like a bless his heart situation. Mm. Mm. Just That's not, why he's. Just, in with the rats. Yeah, not a lot of teeth. <laughs> not a lot of <laughs> we're unscarred facial tissue. And look, if you're into it, you're into it. But yeah, you think they call you them summer are... teeth. Yeah, you... some are here, some are there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, he only needs two of them. <laughs> yeah, his greatest enemy is an apple. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're not sure he's winning all these fights with the rats. <laughs> yeah. They, they did not provide a scorecard. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, a picture of Elfarina, a picture of uh, Jane, and then Gimlo is uh, a, a, another man. Uh, and yeah, it's hard to tell under the giant beard. Sure. But if you're into it. Yeah. And he's got, you know, kind of a stereotypical dwarf helmet with the two big horns. <laughs> a little face shield. You can't actually see any of his face. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad sign. When this is your your social media profile, you're hiding something. <laughs> He's the CFO. Yeah. <laughs> the chief fighting officer? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say, it just says CFO. It could might be, be the... financial, could be yeah. fighting. And... <laughs> CFFO. Yeah, I would <laughs> I think CMO, Chief Marshal Officer, I think would sound more official. But she is already the CMO. Well, she, maybe she should be the CAO, the Chief Arcanical Officer. That worked. Yes. No, I, I think they've already revealed themselves. No, they're telling. No, I think oh, it also lists, goes... <laughs> it lists like some of the relevant abilities. You're pretty sure they're level like three. Yeah. <laughs> Can yeah, take well, more than one action. Close to a fireball. <laughs> Almost a fireball. Or they rate firebolts, but like make sure that the, like the end of bolt is real smudge. shitty and smudged. So yeah, maybe, maybe maybe it's a ball. Fireball, but with an asterisk. Fireball not available at all times. Yeah, <laughs> only available in select select parts of the city. And... Um. Now I think I think we should go. Higher standard, public good, do-gooder kind of groups. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, let's, let's, what day, what day of the week is it? Uh, like, is it seven. almost the weekend? <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, I, Are, yeah, are we auditioning Loric uh, upcoming? Are we? No, no, because he came in like yesterday. Like this okay. is this is the next day, so it's right. Still yeah, probably yeah. middle of the week. Mm. Okay. Well then, yeah. Why don't we turn some things over, set up our stools, get everything spit and polished? Elena and Nor are our entertainment. We'll get everything up and running they once did. Druithon gets back here with our foot baths and mimosas. So confused, but he puts them down. Uh, they can finish inventory when he's done with that. Yeah. Um, I believe I was promised my own boss. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. The sooner I get a mimosa, the sooner I just leave you alone. That's That's just math. That's just math. <laughs> he hands you two to the brim mimosas. Perfect. Thank you, Drithin. You're welcome. Um, he's he's not actually mad. <laughs> um Yeah, so maybe tomorrow. I don't know, you want to try the order the gauntlet or you want to go shopping? I mean, we could start shopping first and then. Right. And if we just happen to find ourselves a part of town. You know, it's probably on the way back from shopping or something. Probably. Yeah, that place was blown up by adventurers like. A year and a half ago or something. Like, two years ago. Like, we'd be doing that. We don't, we don't want to show up at opening, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be rude. That would be rude. All right, sounds like we got a plan. It does. Yeah. Clink. <laughs> My giant water bottle. uh okay so you uh you uh soak your feet drink your mimosas uh elena and nor have a small spat but then continue their act (laughs) uh and yeah uh you you spend the rest of the afternoon other people come on to, to practice at some point the show is really coming together. Uh, a couple, you know, shipments come in. Uh, you you have uh, Raven is around sometimes uh, to help you out. She's a, a tiefling, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is why I got to make that note card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, yeah, yeah well, well, I'll eventually have to get out. Yeah, we'll have to do things. The the busier, the the more successful the business, the more we occasionally have to get out of foot baths. Um, but yeah, that that's good. And and again, it's probably just the right amount of distraction so that we never have too long a silence where we can dwell. That's that's the optimum level of having to get up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Oh, pardon me. That was a hiccup. Hopefully that's not going to start a chain of hiccups. Uh, oh, <laughs> I think it's a bit. So. Uh, uh, perfect. Okay. Uh, so some more time passes. Um, I have a couple of questions for Vianti. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Vianti, you no longer wear your pendant. Is that correct? Correct. What have you done with the mask? Oh. Uh. We had a couple of other things from that creepy museum, right? Correct. So you have a fragment of the Book of Vile Darkness. Mm-hmm. And then we had like a Morton Kynan's, uh uh, hunting kit or you, something. You have a a, a a Van Richten's hunting vampire. Hunting Van Richten, kit. sorry, yeah. not Morton Kynan. Yeah, which, I if you could why. just shove that to the mists to him, he'd really appreciate it. He needs it right now. <laughs> um, a stranger that might appreciate him having it, or not, or not. <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember if we had previously established that we were doing something with. It. I thought we had just kind of like locked him up. We. We have some potential interest. Like, depending if we want to travel. If we want to travel, we can go look after Old Worm for Van Richten stuff, I think, would be a buyer as a collector. Yeah, he collects Mm -hmm. Ravenloft shit. Yeah, we'd have to go direct to the source for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, We can still look up any Sorin, but he tends to have a not my apocalypse, not my problem sign hanged on his front door. It's too soon after the last apocalypse for him to be home. So if we can catch him in between trips, he can fast track us to Old Worm. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's true. The the (laughs) other thing... If there's any two who can do it, it's you two. That's right. (laughs) Um, 
And neither of us are elves, and that's going to show up well in our resume with him. Um, but we also did discuss giving the Book of Vile Darkness to Manchu oh, as that's an interested right. party. <laughs> and look, if we want to look up Manchun, we've got the Order of the Gauntlet on one moral end, and we've got Manchun on the other moral end, as far as people who might be able to help us in any of several apocalypses. Um... And it might be good to mend defense because we're starting to open ourselves up to too many <laughs> epic class villains uh, who become uh, crossover events when they show up. So we might want to start ticking some off the list. <laughs> Maybe putting Manchun back in the box. I might have spoken too boldly when we were fourth level. Uh, what wow. if I'm gonna fuck over Manchun? Then I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make an enemy of Manchun. I'm gonna make an enemy of Manchun. Yeah, time to bury that hatchet. Well, your level has been artificially boosted for a while. Yeah, yeah. I haven't taken it back yet. There's a very there's an open time portal around here or something that's yeah. just bleeding levels, <laughs> draining the life out of somebody else. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Somewhere there's a portrait in an attic that is just heinous at this point. Um, um, but yes, yeah, so that, that's something else we can do. We, we don't have to go right to the Order of the Gauntlet. We, we should start minding our relationships. <laughs> um, and yeah, so Book of Vile Darkness, Manchun. Just trying to trade on their goodwill and this letter from Gail, order the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Shopping, everywhere in between. Oh, definitely. <laughs> to and from whatever sewer Manchun is living in. <laughs> There's probably a beholder that we can run afoul of. Um, yeah, cast lanterns yeah. have never shown up on a stream. Oh, that's not true. They have. They've showed up. They they had threw a party. That mm -hmm. uh, yes. sent sent uh, the uh, the silent knights into mm -hmm. Kelton. That's right. It's true. And nobody um, likes your laxel, so. But so I, yeah, to, I do. But <laughs> to answer your question, Andy, uh, it would probably still be with the other stuff wherever we are keeping that. Just in a heap in a corner. Yeah. Okay. It's in a bag. <laughs> You're just using Van Richten's bag to keep everything. <laughs> just, just, just put that on top. Um, yeah, the the way you you fold a one over a wad of twenties, just so no one knows, like it's or a twenty over a wad of ones. If you want to seem like a high roller, there you go. There you go. I appreciate the grip. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, you finish your work for the day and all that. So, so in the next, so, so the next morning, what, uh, how do you want to roll? I kind of want to knock Manchun off the schedule. What do you, what do you think? Yeah. That's where I was leaning. Yeah. Let's, let's feel see like what we got there. Yeah, I feel like... Did not see this happening today. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the Order of the Gauntlet are more likely to say yes. So I feel like it's like, first plan, get on Manchun's good side. If and that like, falls through, then we can go and hit up the Order of the Gauntlet. Well, even if we just scratch him off our enemies list, I think it's work well done. And yeah. if we go to the Order of the Gauntlet and they detect good and evil on us and we are for sure carrying any fragment of the Book of Vile Darkness, <laughs> I think that's going to go badly on our resume. Let's, let's get our ledger clean on that side, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and look, is there a world in which we shouldn't be giving man's shoon uh, uh, Books of Vile Darkness? Yes, of course there is. But that's not this stream. That's other streams. That's their that problem. sounds like problems for adventurers, which we have That's clearly right. established we are not. 
<laughs> no, sir. So, yeah, let's inquire after a man's shoon. Or a man's hoon? Yeah. Depending on where you put the emphasis. Liz and chat, why would you do the obvious choice when the terrible choice is so close in half? <laughs> Thank you, Liz. You get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Do you need us to faff about going shopping a little bit more? <laughs> no, I just, I, I want to know how you're going to find Manchu. <laughs> well. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Good question. Perhaps too good. Um, well, we can go to Lady Chrysanthemum's Seaward Hut. Uh, no, her auction house. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Certainly there's some kind of delivery address. I, I think that's where we got that he might be interested in buyer in the first place. Correct, yes. Uh, yeah. But she a uh, 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 Vianti asked her for and address and she kind of went he doesn't list one yeah, i have he just written in my notes up. that he might be hanging around the auction house yeah it, so if you go on an auction night which tonight is for the sake oh, of the wow plot, wow <laughs> how convenient just our, <laughs> just our luck yeah, i posted um, the schedule online you have to figure you have to decipher it oh man. it's a puzzle it's oh a, boy! It's a calendar <laughs> puzzle, my favorite kind. <laughs> um, you and Julian Day, bud. You and Julian Day. Um. Oh, well, that gives us all day. Then now I feel like we're being foolish not to at least investigate the order of the gauntlet. Knock That's on the true. door. They might not be open later after the auction's over. So, right, they have daytime hours for sure. They've all got to get. Okay. They're eight. So, so you head down to the Order of the Gauntlet. I believe you can see Task Force Unlikely leaving the Order of the Gauntlet at this point. <laughs> as oh, they hi. have just dropped <laughs> off a bit of Vecna. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're down the street. You can't, you, you wave and, and, and they either wave back or didn't see you. <laughs> One of yeah. the two. <laughs> I mean, how could you not see us? We use our full movement. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, you you walk in. You see a rather uh, <laughs> Gail sees you. She says, "Hey." No. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Call for sure sees us with that passive oh, perception. Wow, yeah. Um, <laughs> Call for sure pretends not to see us with that <laughs> passive perception. <laughs> um, uh, you all walk into the order of the gauntlet. It's this big open atrium um that's that 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 has like a little uh or not a little a rather sizable training area before it kind of splits into a bunch of hallways and offices uh you can see a uh a woman in full plate armor kick open a door walk across the hall kick open another door and then walk into that room that's aggressive yeah i kind of like it does she not know what handles are for never heard of them <laughs> <laughs> never met it's a door or nothing with her yeah never met a door i like <laughs> i feel like we're in the right place yeah this is these are people who are gonna kick ass maybe ours um a very young halfling like maybe 16 dragging plate armor just they are not strong enough to be wearing this kind of walks up to you and says hello welcome to the order of the gauntlet how may i help you my name is goder brightface <laughs> is is brightface a surname i'm familiar with in any way uh, yeah yeah you probably know some bright faces back from green uh, hilly crap but this kid, this kid looks young enough that you might have left before he. Yeah, no, no, yeah. just I'm familiar with the bright face brand, uh, and you, you're living it, bud. G Godor. Yes. Great to meet you, Godor. We might have. It's always a pleasant day to meet new friends. 
can't take the green hilly out of you, bud. Um, yeah, <laughs> we we might have um, an apocalypse level threat to report. Uh, Not the one that we just had a, a future right, right incoming one. Uh, he will pull Could out be a confusing, mace yeah. that is the size of him and say, "I am prepared." To give my life in service to Tear. Oh, oh, honey. Um, gonna no. just kind of lightly push <laughs> down the maze. <laughs> like, yeah, no, no. It's gonna take. It's gonna take more than, <laughs> than that. Wow, strength is our dump stat. But if you're, yeah, if you're, <laughs> but. Do you have a more senior member? Maybe they're busy with apocalypse cleanup from last time. Um, he says, uh, he says, uh, Father Imdar uh, is is available. He is our most senior member. Legendary okay. cleric of Tempest. What about the the kicky door lady? Has she? Oh, Lady Storm Banner. Um, she's terrifying. Do you really need me to go talk to her? She yeah, is terrifying. I, I mean, I think either either the, whoever has an open slot. Mm -hmm. Um, Lady Storm Banner doesn't take appointments; she makes them. That's oh. what she always says to me, and I don't quite understand what it means because I've never seen her make an appointment either. I do kind of like her style more and more, but yeah. Imdar, it, it sounds great. Okay. Father Imdar? Yeah, he'll put his mace back on his back, and he'll very jauntily jog over to uh, the the frontmost office and uh, knock on the door. <laughs> and you can just hear... Oh, yeah, yes. Come in. Uh, Dancy, real quick. This is uh -huh. real boy god energy in here. I just... I don't want you to feel any kind of way or be in any kind of trouble here. Are you, are you good going to, like, a higher boy god authority about this? Like, are, are you okay with this? I want you to feel forced into it as all. Well. Oh, I, I mean, I, I never really been in a place like this. So, it, if you think it's okay, um, I have opinions about it, but no, but not that kind. No, it's it's fine. It's just real. I mean, Gail seemed to think it was okay. She seems. We got a letter. Chill. Look around <laughs> at any of the amount of doors that no longer latch. Um, None of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll kind of take Vianti's hand gently and and yeah, let's let's go see what they've got to offer at least, right? It can't hurt yeah, us to see what they yeah, have. Yeah, we we can back out at any time. So that's yeah. right. Oh, that's right. Yes. Father Imdor is very nice. Have a blessed day. You betcha, Goldar. Hey, say hi to Goody and Betsy back in the fields. I will. You, yeah, man. No. I don't doubt it. <laughs> uh, knock, knock, knock. Uh, ladies and chat said, Gail has never made any bad decisions, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know you haven't, and that's why we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you walk in, uh, he, he says, come in, you walk in to this older dwarf man, uh, a close cropped hair, big beard, a uh, bunch of weapons mounted behind him, but most of them seem fairly old, uh, mm -hmm. like he has not used them in a long time, and he is just staring at a bag on his desk. 
and he uh, takes a deep breath and he says, Hello and welcome to the Order of the Gauntlet. How may I assist you to this fine day? Uh, great question. Great question. We, um, we have, what do we call it? Business? We call it business. Um, we've got a, do I recognize the bag at all? <laughs> no, I think, it, cause I think it's his bag of holding that they put it into. Okay. The, so it's, yeah. it's, it's an otherwise unremarkable yeah. satchel. Um, but I do know who just left here. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you've probably got a really full plate. Uh, uh, his eyes never leaving the bag says something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I was about to say we don't want to add to it, but we do probably. Yeah. It's probably part of what we're about. Uh, he How? says the service is part of my burden. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about getting on the in on the ground floor of preventing the next apocalypse of Waterdeep? I already told the local heroes of Waterdeep, I'm not buying apocalypse insurance. I don't oh, want to be a girl boss. No. Oh. I don't oh. mean... <laughs> girl whom is boss. Yeah. Right. Uh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. No, yeah, no, a hundred percent. No, sorry, this is not. This is not a scam. I, uh, I know you've come into possession of two dread artifacts, and so that's got to be weighing heavily on. I think he might. Wait, does he have two? I think he only has one, doesn't I, he? I uh, did they not bring him the eye and the heart? No, they kept the eye, and then Lou ate it later. Oh right! Oh right! 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 Yeah. Right! 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 Okay. Well, uh, she probably still presumes they have to. Okay. So sorry if it's blown up TFU's spot. <laughs> you probably have come into possession of two dread artifacts, and we apologize for our part in it. That's not. <laughs> He's what like, what? Because <laughs> yeah, like, you weren't you weren't with them. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but there was a whole desert. There's a dungeon stomp. Have you heard? Have you ever gone in a dungeon stomp? I, the the hit off Broadway production Dungeon Stomp, <laughs> kind of. No, and I want to make an uh, an Ahmad Best joke here because he's originated in Stomp. By the way, that's a deep Ahmad Best cut for everyone. For every one, I mean by literally one person. Uh, but anyway, um, he did his Ahmed Best. Uh, so. <laughs> Father Imdar says it's a real shame you can't stay. <laughs> it is. It is. I am filled with regrets for coming here. But, um, no, so we are not here to waste your time. We are here to talk about the next great threat to the planes. They seem never ending. I'm, I'm, Sure, you've seen your fill, but um, does again? I kind of want to lean over to Bianchi and be like, "You sure I'm not going to blow up your spot here if I start talking about?" I, I I think it's fine. So, if I said violet flames, where would you be? in the Great Book of Doom Sages, page 138. <laughs> Fire's not supposed to be that color. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's give him a roll. Right. That's, yeah. That it's the first shouldn't... thing we noticed about it, right? We were saying. Well. Yeah, yes, we'll say first thing. <laughs> okay. He rolled a natural one. So he is not immediately familiar with, if you just say violet flame, that does not immediately mean anything to him. That doesn't mean he's not going to know something about it if you keep giving him information, but that key phrase did not kick off anything for him. Okay. Um, we might be being too subtle because uh, I'm a little nervous. That it's my first time around uh, a, a boy god man as boy god man as you. So, um, I, there, am I making what, you uncomfortable? They... I can I can bring in someone else. 
Every, everyone here would make me uncomfortable, Father. Don't, don't worry about that. Would, um, would, would you like another cleric of Joaquin to observe? I'm. You got another cleric of Joaquin around? Well, we can go call one from the temple. Their rates are very reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure. They get an interfaith no, discount. No, don't mind me. I'm sweating like a me in here right now is the important thing so all denim is a look yeah can't doesn't <laughs> breathe <laughs> okay i'm not um, taking fashion advice right now father i just want uh, a moo with armor on her underneath <laughs> so i mean what do i know <laughs> it's so freeing though um uh, maybe maybe a, a cult of the violent flame uh He'll start to look, he'll start to look through books on his shelf. Do you have Doom Sages? Do you have the great? No, that's more like a Savras thing. That's a Savras thing. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, have you talked to Pensy? Sad girl. Sweet as the day is long, doesn't see a lot of misfortunes coming her way for someone who specializes. Who can see in the future? Like I. Yeah. No. It's a. It's a just, real weird. Look. It's a, Real old honey yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah, great for physical comedy. Very estranged for <laughs> cosmological funny. Yeah. So, uh, you chalk the violent, uh, the, you chalk the the violet flames. Uh, one of the greater evils, I think, a cloud giant told us. Uh, he he frowns deeply at that one, and he'll yeah. open, open adjacent his... with hungry between stars and things. He kind of looks at you. What have you heard about Hadar? Nothing. No. Me neither. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, citizen. <laughs> cool. Go, Please go, cool. do not panic. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Now I am. Uh, yeah, he pulls open a book and he starts flipping through it. And he says, the violet flame, uh, the, the cult of the violet flame, it's it's never been formally organized in the city of Waterdeep, according to my to my records. It's it's a very loose, uh, a loose knit cult uh, led by a, a, an individual of uh, exceeding charm, it says, uh, named. uh, uh Niztanhu, maybe, pronouncing that close. Yes, yes. Um, he says, as far as I know, there has so there is no active cult cell. Do you do you believe they have become more organized? Is this Niz, Niztanhu in the city? Oh, uh, eh. You probably don't need a lot of insight checks to figure out that you've spooked the corral there, Father. Um, yeah, because like, I am all eyes on how Vianti's handling this so far. Um, Vianti hadn't current or like previously considered that he might be in the city. Mm. <laughs> and now Father Imdar, like, saying it out loud is like, oh, fuck. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. He's like well, both hands on Vianti's um, hands. If it helps, I'm not trying to actualize it or anything. I haven't put him like it's not the secret. We we don't have any evidence of that. Uh, I'll make eye contact if it's available. If it's not, I understand. Um, but we did. Uh, there was a a. Doctor Dent's house of tricks or something. Um, I've oh, got ter- yeah, I read. I read the broadsheets about that terrible place. Yeah, certainly uh, we found evidence uh, that he was a member of the cult, or he himself had evidence of cult activity. He 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 just had a mask, but it was with the curiosities he had. So like, he had Van Richten's vampire hunting kit as there as well. Yeah, he's not Van Richten. He just thought it was we, neat because it was full of knives and stuff. He's gross. The Lady Savras, uh, I believe, alluded to actually seeing a masked individual. Am I, before I proceed yes. with this, yes. yes. 
we understand that, that their um, their their vestments include a a white mask uh, that apparently aligns with stars uh, and Lady Savras, uh, uh, Lady Pensy mm-hmm. of Savras, uh did suggest that, that she had seen someone wearing one of those in the city. So I don't know that that's a full blown cult infestation or whatever you want to call them, no, but it, it, it uh, certainly. Yeah, Father Amandar kind of skimming. He says it could just be, as I said, they, they are loose knit. It could just be an individual cult member. Mm-hmm. Father, I want you to say that phrase back to yourself real quick. Individual cult I, I'm member. sorry. I mean, like, I, 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 meant, I meant in the terms of. Currently in the city, there is only one cult, cultist. Sure. But they still belong to a larger cult. Now, look, I don't like to admit that I'm from anywhere where the streets aren't cobbled and covered in other people's sick and feces. But occasionally, I have to tell you that where you see one termite, you know what I mean? I understand. So... Yeah, we, we we're just, we're bring, we're bringing this to you because we don't have anywhere else to go. We're not adventurers. That much is clear. <laughs> it kind of uh, looks at both of you. Uh huh. I think Fiatti's dress could be accurately described as a magician's sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> It's all handkerchiefs. Um, my <laughs> armor has been described as impractical by Impractical Armors Monthly. Uh, he he nods and then quickly like I don't subscribe to that magazine. <laughs> <laughs> read it for the articles. I get it. They're very good. If I ever need a new stereo, I always check Impractical Armors Monthly. <laughs> Um, so he says, would you like me to send knights to the temple of Safras and investigate from there? Well, whatever you could do, father, you know, we, um, we're very concerned citizens and... We we occasionally run aground. Um, uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry. I slide Gail's note finally across the desk. We we are known associates of um, adventurers. Sometimes um, picks up the notes, stares we, at it. We mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. we run mm-hmm. an establishment in the the D word. Uh, so that you know, it's a it. Everybody's adventure starting in a tavern somewhere, right? So why not a cabaret? Why not a cabaret? Why so not? your next adventure. Anyway, this isn't your pitch, but it, but it, yeah. So we uh, we we have our ears to several uh, grounds, and so that's and we're very and we're very concerned as local business owners. Any apocalypse to Waterdeep is an apocalypse of ours. So uh, you know, any 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 interest the water the gun that could 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 bring to bear on this would be, of course, be uh, very, very very appreciated. I, of course, um, we have a uh, we have an expert in cult dealings. I will get her and an attachment of knights on this uh, post haste. We would we and, and just I, I mean obviously you guys are the professionals, but if you could just keep us abreast of the situation, mm-hmm. I wouldn't. Sorry, dream Father, that was it. a double entendre. I mean. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> But, but I have a card, and you can keep this one, which isn't special. I should stop telling people that. You can keep. Yep, that one's yours. Puts on his cheaters. Also, or- mm-hmm. <laughs> also uh, order of the gauntlet members can uh, can Come. pay for their drinks. Yep. <laughs> no cover, maybe. <laughs> the- We'll, they're we'll welcome, work it out. Yeah. They're welcome anytime at the Kiss They're welcome anytime. <laughs> there is no cover at the Kiss Coin. It's just 
Cover's free. Um, yep. No, um, Knock that right off. Uh, uh, he he nods and he says, "We will we will keep you uh, informed on the situation." Is there Stand. anything else I can do to help you? Anything you need at all that doesn't involve taking a terrible object? Or that, I guess. Is there uh, an Apocalypse Finder's fee, or is that a no on that? I'm... <laughs> the coffers would be empty <laughs> if... If such got, a it, thing got, it, got 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 uh, it, got it. We do have, we do, we can give you loyalty points to thank Torm, it's Torm's Day, the official restaurant oh. of the Order of the Gauntlet. Oh, I mean, that's not nothing. Yeah, I'm not proud. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah no, we'll it's, um, okay. Do you have a loyalty <laughs> card? Uh, I do. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, yeah. we give you punches and it's a great system. Yeah. Look, Mama, nice blouse. Didn't raise no dummies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so he pays you your apocalypse finders fee in free appetizers at thank Torm it's Torm's day hey that's not nothing that's how they get you that's how they get you mm-hmm. the markup's ridiculous yeah it, it really it's one banana Michael how much could it cost ten dollars <laughs> um R.I.P. all right well we uh we have other places to be and I'm sure you have enough on your desk currently. Where'd you hear that? Uh inside you... scoop. Don't worry about it. Big fan. Your your eyes say it all. Yeah. Okay. Uh Joaquin's blessings to you, Father. And may Tempest guide your hammer. That probably doesn't apply. <laughs> and to you. And also with you. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Real, <laughs> real boy god energy. Oh my god, it's suffocating. Am I right? Yeah. I. The minute that we walked in and all those weapons on the like. Oh my god, we get it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Everything's a penis. Got it. Yeah. What penis looks like an axe? <laughs> Look, I don't know how you get down. I just know. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it's just it's in everything. Like, Even Lady kicks the doors over there. Just had real big boy god energy. Yeah. You see her kick another door. God. She's walking in your like, general direction. Like, you even see her going towards the door and it still makes you jump yeah. every time. Do you think the doors would have learned, like, <laughs> genetically to get out of her way at this point? <laughs> Why do they even have doors here? Yeah. Like, they could just take them all off. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great point. <laughs> Maybe what? they're just waiting for them all to fall off after her kicking them so much at what cost the veil of privacy in this place uh, you know? the hinges are tarbeck tough at this point i believe <laughs> that is true. So, that might be true yeah i, I believe tarbeck <laughs> gifted them hinges so <laughs> no uh, there is a little suggestions box though we don't have time no no <laughs> they don't have I drop a, 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 i drop a card for the kissed coin in there. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a suggestion <laughs> fellas you ABC, need to blow off some steam always be selling no oh, wait <laughs> um Vianti yes the second there is even the s- smallest moment of silence like the smallest break in the conversation uh, you can hear the voice in your head once more say Vianti why are you fighting this? No, nope, no. Nope. Put on the pendant. Nope. Put on the mask. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep Dance Lab safe. Oh. You can be together forever. I thought that's what we had. But I see now that time has passed. But I can keep her safe. Keep her name 
out of your mouth. Then she burns like all the rest. To be clear, we're nowhere near that pendant or that mask right now, right? Like, we are like, no, shit, I really thought that was a proximity thing. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, so Vianti would have stopped and just, like, full death gripped Dan Slap's hand. And then you just hear him saying out loud, keep her name out of your mouth. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Um, you okay? Um, he's still in my head. Not to be redundant, but this far away from the pendant and the masks, he says out loud in game as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, look, we got we got real boy god professionals on it, but they're gonna work at the speed of um, bureaucracy, um, which I usually appreciate, but. We'll. Why don't we go try and sell a flesh book to one of the worst people in the realm? <laughs> I was drinking, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> don't give us flesh books if you don't want us. Bringing them up. <laughs> you know, like we've we've got our ceiling covered, and now we're going to get our 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 basement done. Okay. We're, uh, okay, was... I'll go get the fucking Xanathar right now, if that's what it takes, okay? So, let's just... Okay? Okay? He knows your name, Dantzlap. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. That, um... Roll to abusive X. Um, that's look. That's that's part of the game, and I. Uh, that's um, I I accept those terms. Okay, you're not in this alone. Is what's important, and so. So, don't let him use me against you, okay? I'm a, a, a big girl. Not height-wise, but come on, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this taken care of. Let's go. Still too early in the day, so let's go look at some scarves and then we'll we'll go sell a flesh book to a crime lord <laughs> I and mean, maybe we'll run into a medusa or some other people that we can you know who knows we're making andy do. he wasn't prepared for this part <laughs> So turnabout's fair play. <laughs> so, so, you walk to the market district. Mm-hmm. Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you see, uh, as you're walking, uh, Rose is walking down the street arm in arm with a new young man. I'm going to assume his name is Aiden. His name is Aiden. Okay. Uh, uh, he introduces himself. He seems oh. really nice, friendly. And he says he has a steady job. What? Uh, To which then Rose, as he says it, Rose kind of crinkles her nose and she says, you know what? We're done here. And walks away. (laughs) What did I do? Yeah. Aiden, it was great to meet you, bud. uh, And good for you. And look, it's not you. 
it's her. Okay. I am on her side. She's the kind of age she has to make mistakes. And you, Aiden, just aren't a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, you're Thank real you. young. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. You're, you're going to get somebody who's in a better place emotionally that's not trying to get over a necromancer. So. I hear that. <laughs> Gosh, Aiden, you're criminally underage, and that's the only thing going against you. Good for you. You know what? You're going to be great. Thank you. Being a teen gonna... in the year 1493 is really hard. You're telling probably someone else. Yeah, but yep. The... yep. We're Scarlet Witchers or something. I don't remember what year it is. I I do. Yeah, I think it's the Scarlet Witch thing still. Or the I lucky cat or something. I don't know. It's, it usually tells you in the beginning of these books. Whatever. The drunk flump. Yeah. Something. <laughs> something. Years are weird. Um, uh, Aiden walks away. Um, He's uh, going to be fine. Uh, so uh, uh, we have, we have uh, some time left. Do you want to play out? role play out some shopping you know that is perfectly acceptable <laughs> or do you want to montage it and then go to the yeah let's let's montage it i don't even mm -hmm. think we're really looking to spend it's as much to distract right yeah it's just nice yeah it's comfortable yeah yeah um comfort shopping yeah That's yeah right. totally uh do you spend money or are you trying to save money still Uh, I will buy whatever, well, whatever Vianti wants. Um, but it, it, it does have to kind of be like, uh, it, since so much of it is just going through the motions, I think it can't just be like green and purple are my colors. It would actually have to be like, okay, no, we're actually, we're leaving with that. Like, so is there a role? Sure. Make us roll something. This is apparently Dungeons and Dragons. You keep saying. Uh, roll a charisma plus survival check. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You got to find them uh, deals. Let's see. It's or charisma plus. perception. Either one is acceptable. Uh, that's more like appraising outfits. So we, would we just add our like bonuses to so, whatever? So if okay, you, so are you plus one? To yeah, if I you're rolled. trained, it, well, yeah, uh, Dance Lab gets weird stuff because she's half a bard. But Vianti, if you were trained in either perception or survival, you'd make a charisma check and add your uh, proficiency to it. Oh, so I, okay. I got a ten. Okay. Not great. Hey, you're distracted. Down. Yeah, no, look, this is all, yeah, this is a pantomime. Uh, I got a 20. Okay, yeah. I, this is working for Vianti. This is effectively a distraction. Oh, great. Uh, and and perhaps, perhaps Dance Lab, you, you are almost feigning ineptitude so that Vianti mm -hmm. has to be like, no, 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 this outfit. <laughs> What's it, your first thing on Earth? Or Toro? Yeah. Uh, not that, yeah, not that, that dance, or not that Beyonce would ever talk like that, but to you, yeah. Oddly, by the way, uh, and I I mentioned a couple weeks ago, just to you two, that this is one of the characters I take the most seriously. This is actually one of the saddest episodes we've ever done in a strange way. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, I, I that's a nice way of saying no. I think yeah, I think dance that's fully off her game, yeah. and but the fact that Vianti is actually getting something from it does kind of like. In the montage, you can actually see Dance Lab brightening that this is working, for one of them at least. <laughs> um, and the one it's supposed to be working for. So, yeah, it, I will spend any amount of gold. Uh, it's worth it. Okay, perfect. But it's Vianti. What could it cost? Five gold. It, right. It, it's nothing. You're buying a scarf. <laughs> yeah. And that's a whole outfit somehow. Because every shirt has the nipples cut out for some reason. Like, it's it, it covers less. Well, but maybe that's extra, like, how ripped, pre-ripped yeah, pre yeah. no, jeans true. cost so much. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. You say pre-worn, but they've never been worn. <laughs> Can I go to a Goodwill for the goal. same thing? Yeah. 
Um, it is a cold. Uh, okay. So you effectively shop the afternoon away. And uh-huh. you head to... Uh, they're called like the James Alexander Estates or something. Lady Chrysanthemum's uh, mums. Uh, I absolutely nailed that landing. Um, <laughs> uh, auction house. Mum Chrysanthemum. Uh, it is a smaller uh, affair than last time. There's not like a full reception or anything like that. It's more you go in, you look at the items. It's um, It's a smaller estate sale currently happening but lady chrysanthemum recognizes you uh she's less as as when vianti came in a couple days ago she's less uh bitchy than she was the first time you came in because she knows you actually brought in decent wares and you we dropped big lots and, lady and you, you bought a lot yeah like so yeah you, you put your money where your mouth is and she was wrong so <laughs> um <laughs> yeah she has to respect that um no shoes no shirt but we still get service. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay. So, uh, what would you two like to do while you're here? And and what's up? What's up? Uh, peruse for a while. Like, we're just waiting for Manchun. I mean, unless there's something at this estate sale that looks particularly good, but I'm presuming it's some boring old human dude. Um, <laughs> yes, it is some boring old human dude. <laughs> who um, collected, yeah, just, like, exotic animal heads. And it's just like, no, that's probably not your aesthetic. No. Um, no. Yeah, um, sort of, he, yeah, he, old guy he, furniture. Like... It's, it's There's a couple gilded things, like a mirror, if you're interested in that, but... Mm, getting closer. Yeah, some... Yeah. A lot of art that's like landscapes or dead animals on landscapes. Ugh. Yeah, he, he had a very like a hunter aesthetic kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, Dan's lap can rock a leopard print all day, but that's more of like, yeah, like celebrating the life of a leopard rather than the gross death. Yeah, I could see myself doing a routine with like a leopard skin rug or something, but that's yeah. not any of this. No. Hey, uh, Lady Chrysanthemum. Um, yes. Any. Have, have we heard from Manchun uh, today? Any interest in gilded mirrors or animal parts? Um, I don't. Let me, she looks through a couple uh, pieces of parchment and she says. This man did have several magic items. Manchun typically... Mr. Manchun typically comes out for those. And um, this is bread and butter. Yeah, we didn't see the magic lots. Where are they? Uh, I, oh, they're, they're not... You can't look at them. They You have to wait for the actual auction part to do them. I see, I um, see. This is just the this is displaying like, of the yeah, lot. The, per- the perusal kind of... Uh, but she right. says... Uh, yeah, she lists... Hold on, let me get my... I'm making my Dungeon Master's Guide. I've actually been using old book. I haven't used D&D Beyond once this session. Not that we really do much that needs D&D Beyond. Oh, well. but... It's because we're not playing D&D, Andy. Ever made... <laughs> <laughs> you made up the only role we've made today. <laughs> right, you, there's not an appraisal role in this game? Uh, in the, the... Wisdom sleight of hand. In the Acquisitions okay. Inc., I think oh, they added I believe, in. I believe stuff there is, yeah. About that. Okay, so so she says for sale, uh, there's a flame tongue sword. Okay. Uh, a figurine of wondrous power. Uh, the end. The figurine is the ivory goats. Okay. Um, a hat of disguise. I have to tell you, I have good a hat face. Um, horseshoes of speed. They come with a horse. Absolutely not. Cast it into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Be rid of it. Um, uh, an iron flask, which 
is probably something Manchin would be interested in. Uh, okay. And a mirror of life trapping. You're kind of like, why did this dude have a mirror of life trapping? Uh, that's okay. We, uh, so you, you tell me, Andrew, like if we put down our names as like interested in the iron flask, would that be kind of a shot across Manchun's bow? Maybe of probably getting his attention at least. Probably. Okay. Uh, it's the way we know how to get his attention. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will put down my name, like on the offer sheet or whatever it is, you know, the the interest sheet or whatever. I'll I'll just kind of sign Dan Slap and Bianti. You know where to find us. <laughs> <laughs> and us, the S crosses back over itself and ends in a heart. Wow. Yeah. yeah that's pretty. Um. Yeah. Okay. I've got big poofy girl handwriting, by the way. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> very practiced uh, 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 <laughs> I was talking to Krista about hand, hand writing the other day uh, and I asked if uh, something had big puffy girl handwriting and she said no it had tight every letter looks the same girl handwriting and I looked at it and I went oh yeah that is a kind of girl handwriting too <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, no, certainly I've shared that song with you guys, and if not, I yeah, yeah, again, yeah, but because, yeah, um, not a great song, a great song, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the auction starts to go off, a bunch of stuff is sold, and eventually it gets to the iron flask. Uh, and uh, behind you, a man leans forward and says. Are we going to do this again? That's no man. That's a man tune. <laughs> um, I was going to say half turn, but no, that's betraying my feminine mystique. I'll say, no, we're not going to do this again. We're going to do something else new entirely. And just kind of like reaching over as if adjusting my purse, I'll kind of like shuffle out the like first two inches of a book of flesh. <laughs> that's, that's about all you have of it, though, like because it's just well, a bit of it. Like it's so like, are you well, but like, like like height wise, not like not showing in my girth. Andrew. No, no, I'm I understand, but I'm I'm saying it's not a full bur it's not a full book, it's just a bit of it. Mm -hmm. Right, but it, right. like it's it's like, it's like pages though, right? It's like page fragments. It's so it's oh, basically boy. you have like like this part of the book. Mm -hmm. Oh weird. And only a couple pages of it. Like no, somebody like ripped this thing apart. Nah, it's probably for <laughs> someone probably but ripped anyway, it so apart for like a good reason. <laughs> So I'll kind of move that out just enough to then like get like uh, my lip gloss and put the the fragment of the book of darkness back in. Just kind of apply my lip gloss. Uh, he he looks at it and he looks up at the at the auction house current uh, the auction currently going on and he raises his hand and he says, "Interesting. Do you even know what is in the iron flask?" Or was it just to get to my attention? <laughs> no, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was just to get to your attention. He says, I didn't think you'd have much need of a solar. And he'll raise his hand again to keep bidding. Uh, look at the ante. Do we need a solar? Is that like a... Like a... Okay. A sunny room off the entryway? Can, uh, yeah, may, yeah. 
I, I'm going to roll religion. Okay, yeah. Either of you can roll religion for it. <laughs> God. Nope, I got a, I got a five. Oh, boy. Okay, yep. It's a two on uh, the dice. A 12? A 12. A solar is a powerful celestial. They are like an angel. But way oh. stronger. They're like a CR 25 angel. No, I only... I mean, that might be helpful. Coming up. Could be an attraction to the kiss coin. If she's down for her. Our enslaved angel. Um, oh, no. Consent only. Right. The enslaved will be part of the act if we want to, if, if they're into it. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. They're a CR 21 angel. <laughs> also, they're large sized. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're. I think. think they're yeah, yeah. So towering, like, like, yeah, like, nine, ten feet tall. Impressive wingspan. Oh, and there are uh, only good. twenty-four at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Total. Total okay. in all of existence. All right. And they're four for five from the outside. And they mess around and get a triple double every once in a while. So uh, I'll kind of lean back again as if we're pulling off this not looking at each other thing and be like, actually, I, I could use a solar if the fragments worth a solar to you. Just... That's not like a hard lay. I notice I have not made a bid. I'm just saying, like, I'm, if you're negotiable for that. He says, you wish to trade this unidentifiable scrap for an iron flask that also contains a solar. Like, it's, it's value on value. I mean, or we could sit here and drive up the price of it, because we know you're going to buy it either way. Look up mansion stats real quick. <laughs> We're trying to strike the right chord. <laughs> uh, also, we we might already be. I haven't paid attention to the number yet. We might. <laughs> we might be way above, way beyond our skis here. He doesn't have to know that. <laughs> well, no. But he can call our bluff real quick. Can you two make wisdom saves for me, please? Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, no. Saves? Oh, Christ, I'm a bard first. <laughs> that is not the first time you've lamented that. <laughs> no. Uh, that's not good. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, you sold your soul. You don't have an excuse. Or you do have an excuse. It's a, that's a nine. Okay. Dance life. I'll do you one better. I got an eight. Okay. Uh, he simply looks at you both and says, you're bluffing. He cast the deck thoughts. He was just reading your minds. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. I was serious about the the book thing but you seem to be from your tone your frankly shitty tone because you can detect my thoughts you're probably picking up <laughs> you're doing <laughs> shitty so i may as well just be out there with it um uh, yeah from but your shitty tone, i'm guessing you don't think that's a value so we'll we'll, yes. we'll negotiate separately no, about, he says i am interested in it but why okay. don't i purchase this and then we can talk about your fragment a hundred percent we can yeah. um uh, and he says, and perhaps some of your other problems. Oh, well, he did just detect. <laughs> uh, he did just detect. And we failed miserably. So whatever he wanted, he got. Oh, yeah. He's rooting around in there. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, probably like having a conversation. <laughs> with uh, you check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Manchun gets into a bit of a bidding war with this older gentleman before he just points at the person and he whispers a word. That person just mysteriously dies of a heart attack. And Manchun wins the Iron Flask. That wasn't like any Soren or anything, Dargus. No, no, no. It's just some old man. Because, look, That's if any Soren dies, among his list of people, I believe, it was Manchun. Manchun. Yeah. <laughs> also himself. Yes, also himself. <laughs> uh, no, Manchun is just a terrible person. Neutral evil. Uh, the well, fa fairly won, bud. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> we are aligning ourselves with all the right people. Uh, Listen, at least he's expended that one for the day. Uh, it's true. Now it's time to make our move. Curtis <laughs> <laughs> ninth level slap. Let's go. <laughs> Only cast chain lightning at us. Don't worry. He's just in fresh possession of a solar. <laughs> Let's get him. And I'm so sure my only touch spells will do wonders uh, against him. <laughs> Don't worry, bud. I got you backed up uh, with also only touch spells. And Solars uh, we, can we got them. kill both of you with their bow and arrow. Yes, I think if they hit us at all, they, you are we, dead. We die. <laughs> I'm sorry. You do get to make a DC 15 con save or die. Oh, good. I have plus nothing to that. Yeah, no. so yeah that should, same. That could help. And if they hit you with one of their greatsword attacks, it only does a total of 49 damage. Oh. Hey, that's not my whole life. That's just my Oh, story. that is mine. And they get to make yeah, two of those, so. and then they'll get a legendary action. The that's important thing life. is we're making friends. Okay. So uh, we're a little past our time, but we have about 15 minutes of show left uh, since we started a little late. So... Yeah. Um, uh, Manchun will collect his items. Uh, and as before, he is uh, properly hooded. Although I don't think I described his robot hand before because Waterdeep Dragon Heist hadn't come out yet. He has a robot hand. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, hey, sweet hand. Oh, and I, I had uh, been mistaken, actually. I hadn't taken my long rest yet. 43 is my... Uh, total hit points. I had oh, still you had, had eight, eight applied. Yep. <laughs> yes. So don't fight a solar. It turns out. Yeah. yeah do, do I? Do both of you have plus zero to con? Those seem low for eighth level yes. characters. Uh, yeah. yeah it's okay. a plus zero. Um, I've got forty three. Do you have forty three? Yeah. Oh wow. Magic. Uh, we should be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So Manchun uh, walks back. Uh, to greet you, he hands off his artifacts that he has purchased to uh, some uh, gentlemen dressed in black and gold. Um, and they walk away, and he says... How many rings you got, you fucking yinzers? <laughs> <laughs> um, do the Patriots have more Super Bowls than them now? I think by now. Okay. Or, or Tom Brady Tom does. Tom Brady does. Patriots That's you know what? tied them. Yeah. Maybe they can just shut up about it. Um, <laughs> um, sorry, they Garrett, if you're legally watching. Legally can't, but... Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, Manchun uh, looks at both of you and he says, a fair price for the fragments. What do you think it is? I'd like to roll business acumen. Sure. Which is my wisdom plus my cleric level. It is. Cleric call. Yep. Uh, so I just click on this and add four. Oh my God. I don't have luck or anything, right? Like I'm just rolling like shit. You're a halfling, so you can't roll ones. I can continue to roll fives and fours, though. <laughs> Maybe it's broken. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It, look, it's hilarious. The tan slap is not doing well. So I, oh, I could particularly inspire myself. Is about the only other thing I could do. <laughs> sure. Uh, or guidance? Do you have guidance? I do. I do. Let's add a d4 to this. 
You can do this dance lap. It's just Manchu. Yeah, no probs. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, plus one. So that's eight plus four is uh, twelve. Twelve? Okay. This is an artifact. Right. Even if it's a bit of it. You just saw a legendary magic item go for a lot of money. I'm going to pull out dice I've never used before, but I, I bought for this very specific occasion, which is my Great. money dice. Hold on. Good stuff. <laughs> I also bought time dice. I mean, the artifact's useless without it, so it's it's still a crucial uh, fulcrum for this item. You think somewhere in the range of between 9,000 and 9,500 9, would probably be fair. Okay. And and we're looking to get kind of both off of Manchun's radar or on Manchun's radar in a slightly better way. So I, I will lowball it at Nine thousand. Like I'll, I'll go with the lower end of the price, and he can he can manshoon me down if if he is uh, so interested. But yeah, I'll, I'll just look. I understand it's a piece, but the hole is worthless without it. I think nine thousand is fair for a little of your. Legendary goodwill made that up, but I might be negotiable on the price a little bit. But look, you've seen our insides, and we're <laughs> desperate. Nope, didn't mean to say desperate, but I did. So we are in need of allies. I'm not asking you to sign up for anything. I'm not asking uh, for your employee. Your goodwill would go a long way. Or just not you being against us would also. He says... Business is business. I understand. Um, you want to remain neutral in this regard, but we could make a deal. I can offer you reliable services. I can offer you protection that few in this city could match. I can offer you power, money, guards. We need not be neutral. We could be friends even. Why would you offer this to us? At what price? Um, one, being friends with business owners often has the benefit of laundering coin. Two, the mask. Right, you read our minds. Right, right, right. What, um, what in, what, man, sure. What, what interest do you have in the mask? Surely you're not a celebrant of, uh... No, no. He is... Okay an elder evil 
and a rather foolish one at that, in my opinion. What good is a universe if there's nothing left in it? I Finally, someone's asking the questions. Yeah, I mean, yeah, great. Um, he says, there is no money to be made, no revenge to be had, no life to live in an empty universe. I seek to prevent it. I have the will and the means to do it. Okay. Well. He mumbles under his breath. You yeah, promise that, Elminster, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I see we're playing cards tits on the table. So, and that means lean forward like this, by the way. I'll tell you the, the history of that phrase if you guys want to know it. It's, it's a funny story. Anyway, um, so... You know, I'll kind of eye check the ante real quick, but I'm pretty sure I, I speak confidently. The mask is not on offer at the moment. But let's say fragment of the book. And we start what you could consider to be a working relationship. The kissed coin. See, uh, let's rewind a little bit. Let's reset. When I started fucking with you, I did not know who you were. <laughs> uh, he says, I know. And I didn't have any stake in the game. Now I have property. I have business. I have a stake in not uh, pissing off Mance June. He says, he says, everyone's priorities change when they understand what is at stake. So, the book, the fragment of the book. Seven thousand and the kiss coin is neutral ground for any deals that you would like to negotiate. Yes, the Lord's Alliance is unlikely to have spies in a an establishment of your sort. I will have to check for Harpers, though. Are any of them raccoons? <laughs> You've met the spy master of what? <laughs> Bertram, you sexy son of a bitch. <laughs> You're gonna get me killed. <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, no, he says, he kind of stares at you for probably what you would consider an uncomfortably long time, but it's probably about I a minute. I do my minute. best. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and he says, the start of a working relationship, yes. That sounds acceptable. Have I, I wonder, I, I haven't stated on, was there a possibility to, because like, now I'm revealing that I do know who Manchun is. Was there a chance to do any looking into who Manchun is? Oh, was yeah, for sure. In the interim. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, you're going to find a lot of, a lot of uh, sort of muddy information. Uh, yeah, sure. Some of it, some of it, half legend, half... But yeah, know, he's half a ghost story, yeah, he's, especially because he's he keeps showing up in impossible places. Yes. He can't be in space. Yeah, <laughs> he's over here. Sometimes he's a vampire. Um, sometimes he's a. Sometimes he has a robot hand. Oh yeah. shit! Oh no! Is this what? He's brain but, brainwashed by Hydra. <laughs> uh, the Zents don't have a heavy hand in sex work though right is that no no it is more it's okay. more tra it's more uh, it... no yeah they're, no, they're it is more the, racketeering yeah, it is they're more, more like the the yeah the the kind of the generic version of mafia movie mafia 
but they are also they are also very much at this point trying to push forward as a legitimate mercenary organization and right. and you can legitimately hire Zentara mercenaries and they are very reliable talented mercenaries they cost okay. a lot of money but but and, you get what you pay for yeah um, mm. they're they're much yeah they're much um they're more they're more i'm trying to think of they they take orders better than say the flaming fist who are cheaper and they're a bunch of hey you like to fight for money here you go please fight for us for money but there's still those assholes who like to fight for money <laughs> yeah the centaurum are afraid of manchun yeah venifer yeah um love her by the way um all right, then, then, yeah, I don't think there's any more buttons left to push. I, I think let's, let's strike a, an accord, which I'm sure will only benefit both sides forever and on. Why wouldn't yeah. it? With Manchun. Um, he will uh, shake your hands. And he will give you each a small coin with an M on it. And he says, if you ever need to reach me, take this to Colot Towers. It'll only work once, so make sure it's worth it. And then, obviously, if it is, I'll give you a second one. And so on. Now, if we get three of these, that's an extra life, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you, you get to counter one power word kill from Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good look money in the bank okay Colot Towers got it well Mr. Manchun uh, in a, a gesture of goodwill and um, you know since you only want to go to your vault once tonight I will kind of pass over the uh the fragment of the book. Say, so I believe we have uh, an understanding. Uh, he will take the book, nod, and um, say, yes. And then, pardon me, he will start to walk away unless anyone stops him or says anything else to him. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sooner he gets out of here, the... I can finally relax my whole butt cheeks. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Um, uh, is there anything else you would like to do this evening? Otherwise, we will wrap it up and pick up next time in episode four. Uh, pithy episode title. Oh, no. You monster. <laughs> <laughs> and really we were all the empty vessels along the way yeah the empty vessels were the mansions we met along that's true that guy might not even have a soul it's, <laughs> it's up for debate <laughs> it's up for debate <laughs> um yeah, no, I yeah, I I think I think we've done something cool in this session. And I was a little worried about us because we famously like to fuck around, and I do like that. But <laughs> I actually I think this landed somewhere very interesting. I, I'm I'm pretty content with that. Uh, Vianti, you got anything else uh, you wanted to get accomplished tonight, or? Uh, I'll just say to Dan Slap, uh, I think we might need to. Not just be using Van Richten's bag as like a place to keep those items, but I don't want to touch that mask. Sure, sure. Well, and look, if you'd feel safer offloading it, I didn't want to make that decision here and now. But we've uh, got a buyer. I just don't know what. He, well, I think he means it. We can talk. Let's put a pin in that for right now. But there's hundred percent. Maybe if you can put. Uh, or have somebody put the mask somewhere safe so I don't know where it is and feel 
Yeah. Better about that. I can I can do that very thing. I know don't. some dwarven bankers. Uh, no, I mean I don't I don't know anybody. Don't who knows who I know. No, nobody right. touch yeah. it. Maybe keep it okay. in the bag. You got it. Yeah, it won't be in Joaquin Lockbox six nine six nine. Not at all. <laughs> That's the sex. <next> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> High five the ante. <laughs> but it won't be there, I said. Remember when I, remember I said that? Exactly. When I come home giggling from the bed. <laughs> Every time I look at my receipt, I giggle. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, PSF. up. I said, don't. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. Outros and plugs. Uh, Marty, you're first. Oh. Uh, I'm not usually first. Uh, but yeah, hey, did you like this? If not, you're wrong. If you did, you're right. <laughs> Click a bell. Ding a ding. <laughs> like a thing. Make a comment. Uh, use a Amazon Prime subscription to subscribe to our channel. Get them sick emotes. Make Andy drink water. Or a Skella dab. All kinds of things you can do. Keep clicking until you unlock more things to do. And... CC. Hi, I'm CC. AK Sipska on Twitter and Instagram. I just want to plug having a lovely time. Your friends. This, even though it was sad, I still still had a great time. And I also wanted to plug the Sea Ward, because we didn't get to make any Sea Ward jokes. Ah, that's I feel right, like yeah. You can't have a Dan Slab and Beyond the episode without mentioning the Sea Ward at least that's once. Right. So Getting right up in the C word. From the D word. Yeah. We were so you have to go from the D word to the C word. That's just how maps yeah. work. We were so close and the curse was broken. And yet, <laughs> here I am trapped still. How to tell if Greg knew. <laughs> um, uh, uh, thank you both to my wonderful players. Uh, thank you for watching. You there in the audience. Um, in 3D. <laughs> Um, this week is Task Force Unlikely. Um, it's just a bunch of Ravenloft stuff, and it's fun. Uh, but no, it is, uh, we are getting towards the end of Task Force Unlikely. Um, <gasps> Say it isn't so, Andy. So, but don't worry. <gasps> There'll be another show after it, almost certainly, um, with those same wonderful players. Um... Dragon Lords is on Sunday, Star Wars is on Monday, and Star Chasers is next week. Uh, we got a busy couple of days coming up. Um, Heck yeah. So stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Uh, do everything Marty said. And um, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, follow us. Have a good. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, be kind, have a nice night, and don't be racist. Don't be racist. Nope, oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay. Everything's fine.